Hey guys, me Dave. It's a 8 8 2023. So, uh, first week of August. Um, I thought I was going to be able to go camping. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I had to order charging cables for my phone and my tablet and everything else. And I'm my money is running low, so I can't afford to go camping. I thought I was going to be able to go camping a lot this month i just i can't do it you know so um but anyway you know there there's you know we we got ti's out there that they can't they can't tell the difference between a perp and a real ti they just they just they just can't tell the difference um i don't know if they're they're not being shown that or you know, like in my program, they, they like to tell me everyone, everything, you know, they, they show me the perps, uh, you know, whether on these calls or on Facebook, they'll perp me and they'll show me their perp. They'll do something to perp me, you know, um, some TIs can't tell the difference. They, they just can't tell the difference between a real TI and a fake TI, you know, and the thing is, is that they can make you very paranoid. Um, they can make you very paranoid, um, and they will make you paranoid to the point where, where you think they're poisoning your food, you think they're poisoning their your soda, you know. Um, they, I mean, I've heard a TI tonight talk. Um, uh, he's very, very paranoid. Um, he's very paranoid. He practically lives in his truck instead of his house because he's so paranoid. Um, he thinks he's being injected with drugs and chemicals and everything else. Um, they're not doing that. They're not doing that. Um, he opens up a Pepsi and he, he takes a first sip and he thinks that they're uh, drugging his, his pop, you know, his soda, you know, and stuff, you know, they can, they can make you very, very paranoid with these weapons. Um, when I, in the beginning of my program, I thought, uh, I thought these people were here to kill me, you know, and I was calling 911 all the time and all everything else. I thought they were here to hurt me, you know, and stuff. And that wasn't the case. They can make you very, very paranoid um, in these programs. Um, so uh, if you're going through that, you're you're not gonna realize what I'm saying um, if you're in that paranoid state. Um, but they can make you very, very paranoid where it's real it's really real to you it's really real to you um when i was in the psych ward the second time um i thought they were going to kill me they put the fear of death in me which dr duncan talks about um they put the fear of death in me um i mean they were they were i mean they were threatened to kill me and all this stuff and i was going i was they were going to put me in a box truck and you know, and all this stuff, um, it was real to me. It was real to me. I was crying and praying to God, you know, and then they said they were going to slip my neck and they were saying, well, we're going to get the carpet all dirty. Well, well the, they, didn't, they didn't have carpet in there anyway, but I came out of my room. I said, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. You know, I said that to them. And the guy's like, well, some guys just can't wait to die. You know. So, um, they can make you paranoid where you, in reality, in your reality, you think it's real. Okay, now you think it's real, you know. Um, so there's a TI talking on a call tonight, and he is in that state of paranoia. Um, he thinks people are coming in his house, standing over him, going through stuff, 
and all this stuff and he he thinks he's being injected with drugs and chemicals in his body and you can open up a, a Pepsi can and they're drugging that can and all this stuff. You know, he's in that state of paranoia um, where he's giving advice on what to do. He's in that state of paranoia. They can make you paranoid, you guys. Um, I've seen other TIs make videos where they're they're really paranoid. They're in the they're they're they've been in the pro program for ten years, and they're still in that first stage of paranoia. They think they're fighting this, and they're in that stage of paranoia, and they're fighting this, and they're fighting this, and they're fighting this. And their whole house is full of aluminum, <laughs> you know, and all this stuff. And they think they're beating this. They're in a state of paranoia. Um, so we got to snap ourselves out of that. We got to snap ourselves out of that. Um, they will eventually snap you out of that um, where you realize, you know, this isn't really happening, um, you know, but they can do that with these weapons. They can make you very, very paranoid, um, and, and they can put the thoughts in your head. Well, your relatives drugging your food, you know, the stuff, don't eat the food because it's drugged. Um, so they will, they will do that to you. Um, and make you very, very paranoid. Um, they have the ability to do that. So be careful out there, you guys. Um, you know, be careful out there, you guys. Um, there's some TIs that are taking over, and they're they're very paranoid. They're they're in like the first stage of their program. They can't move on from the first stage um, and get to the next level and stuff. And they're in a lot of trouble. They're in a lot of trouble, um, you know, just like these TIs that make videos. They think they have 20 implants in them, you know, stuff. They're, they're paranoid. Uh, they're paranoid, um, you know, and stuff. And, and that's not really what's happening. Um, you know, some people can't get to the next stage. Um, they're stuck in that same stage and of their program. They've been in that same stage for 10 years. You know, and they can't get through it, you know. Um, me, I, I moved up through the different stages of my program. Um, you know, I went through this stuff in the beginning of my program eight years ago and stuff. And people are still going through that. So I'll talk to you guys later.